everybody, and welcome to the December 2017 edition of Marshall Community Services News. My name is Doug Goodman, and for the next half hour or so, we're going to bring you up to date on what's happening in Marshall Community Service. And a little bit, we're going to bring in a special guest and talk about a very special event that's happening right here on campus at SMSU. And actually, we are in the in the Studio One campus uh, location. It's BA 171, and this is our Studio One uh, studio. And uh, we're happy to be with you, and this, of course, show will be viewed on Community Access TV, on Charter, and all the other Community Access program channels throughout our community, and we're really happy to have you again with us for this special December 2017 show. Now, real quickly, I'm going to run over a couple of Community Services special things, and then we'll get on to our special, Ghent and our, our special event and our very special guest. So with that, uh, again, it's early December. I want to mention a couple of things. Our Red Baron Ice Arena is the place to be here in December. We have a number of uh, open skate activities. We have a special vacation, holiday vacation from school, 1 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And I'd encourage you to stop by or go online and get our December calendar posted on your refrigerator and uh, check out when open skate is happening again each and every weekend. And of course, throughout the holiday vacation from school, you can bring out your friends, have a lot of fun out at the Red Baron Arena and Expo uh, throughout this uh, holiday season. I'd also like to mention our Marshall Community Services Department has very special gift certificates. And of course, everyone has that hard to buy, find a gift for that person over the holidays. And Community Services has those gift certificates that could take care of your very special person. Uh, maybe it's a buy a 2018 family season pass at the Marshall Aquatic Center. Maybe it's giving them a special class or uh, something. Maybe they got a smartphone for Christmas and want a workshop on how to take care of all the apps and things and get acclimated with their new smartphone. But a lot of wonderful things coming up. And of course, on December 13th, which is next week, as this show is pre-recorded and will be played throughout the month of December, on uh, December 13th, everyone should be receiving their 2018 Marshall Community Services Winter Spring Brochure, which is packed full of programs, activities, community ed classes, special events, whether it be ice skating lessons, whether it be recreation programming, whether it be sports events, sports activities, it is your opportunity to get involved with Marshall Community Services. And I do want to mention our office is located right downtown in the heart of Marshall. 344 West Main Street is our address. It's right across the street from the Thrifty White Drug Store. Our office hours are from 8 to 4.30 Monday through Friday. And of course that number, 537-6767. You can also go to our website, uh, which is uh, www.ci.marshall. Dot mn dot us. And I know our wonderful behind the scenes people, Ryan Myberg and Alex Peterson, will be putting this across the screen along with the number so that you can call us, touch base with us, get involved, uh, and in fact, enroll. As soon as you get your brochure, you can start signing up for our classes that are coming up in 2018. So, with that, I think it's time to maybe take a break. Oh, one other thing. Um, during the month of December, all the way to December 29th, Marshall Community Services is offering or would like you, each and every one of you, to fill out a very important survey that we have out there available to you right now. In fact, if you go um, to our site, which is www.surveymonkey.com, and we'll put that address on the bottom of the screen, so we encourage everyone out there to, to give us your feedback. And, and of course, it's a short time left. We only have a couple, three weeks, but we'd like you to participate in this uh, community education, community services survey. It's an assessment, once again, which obviously your feedback is important to us, so we encourage you to do that. It's been out there for a couple of weeks, and we really would like you to complete that survey, get it back to us, and of course, we appreciate your participation. And of course, at the end, uh, we'll wish everyone the best of holidays, a safe holidays. We'll do that to, uh, at the end of our show today, but for now, I want to take a real quick short break, only going to be a couple seconds, and we'll be right back with our special guest. All right, we're back here at Studio One TV uh, on the campus of MS SMSU, and with me as part of our Marshall Community Services news show, uh, here our December 2017 edition, is our very special guest, Tara Plant. Welcome, Tara. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, and again, this is very timely because Tara uh, has been involved with a very special project now for oh, a couple, while, three, couple uh, months. A while, yep. a couple yep. months. Yep. And of course, it's happening right now. And I'm going to let I'm going to begin, Tara, by 
asking you to share a little bit about yourself before we get into this very special event that's going on. Um, tell us a little bit about you, your family, uh, anything else you'd like to share with our viewers, because I'm sure people are tuning in right now. Okay, well, how much time do we have? No, <laughs> I'll, I'll make it short, short and sweet. Um, I grew up in Marshall my whole life, um, born and raised here. I went away to college for a little bit at the U of M, went to St. Cloud for a couple semesters, and then finished up here at SMSU. Um, definitely, in my opinion, best of the three. Yep. Um, so I have two boys. Um, Mason is a junior in high school and Talon is in sixth grade. They both play hockey and baseball and golf. So that takes up a lot of my time. Um, I've been in the hospitality industry um, my whole life. So about 20 years and just about six months ago, I transferred over to Prairie Home Hospice um, as their fundraising and events manager, um, which was you know, a big leap, but a lot of similarities. You know, I've helped out with a lot of their events in the past. So it's kind of a smooth transition. Um, I know they wanted to bring in a couple more big events, which is why they brought me on, and I've been really enjoying it. It's an incredible organization to work for. They do amazing work. Like I tell everyone, you know, I ask, um, <clears throat> I don't do the hard stuff. I ask for the money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get to do the fun stuff and meet with people in the community um, and ask for funds and explain where our funding goes and all that stuff. But our nurses and, and, and those people really do do the hard stuff. But it's really pretty easy to ask for things when you know that every dollar just matters and does so much good for that organization. So I've really been enjoying it. I am pretty new. Um, we jumped right into this new event when I got there, and I've, um, so it's been pretty busy, but I've been enjoying it um, very, very much. Well, yeah. thank you for sharing that, and again, welcome yeah. to our show. And let's get right into that special event. And uh, it was, uh, like I say, it's been planned for a number of uh, months now, and with your kind of taking the lead in this uh, as part of the Prairie Home Hospice organization. Yeah. Uh, and we can talk a little bit about that too also. But it's light up the night 2017, isn't it? It is, yes. Um, as I said, I, when I got there, my first order, our first order of business at Prairie Home Hospice was to um, add another fundraising event um, because we added another, a second hospice home. We added home care, you know, just five short years ago and a couple other programs. So, you know, with those additions comes extra need for funding. We are a nonprofit organization, so our um, funding doesn't come, you know, all from insurance and patients and stuff. Um, and we don't like to, you know, limit our time with our patients, so that requires more funding. Um, so we did want to add an event that gives back to the community, that gives us so much. Um, Prairie Home Hospice, as, as a lot of people know, has been around for a long time, 33 years, almost 34 years. And um, it's just kind of miraculous um, how this community gives to us whenever we need it. Um, for our first ho hospice house, our second hospice house, um, you know, we do a charity event um, every year. That's an annual thing. We do a fall raffle, the Tough Enough to Wear Pink campaign, and it's just astounding that um, this community always supports us so much. So we kind of wanted to do a fundraiser, yes, but something that also gives back um, to this amazing community, this beautiful town, this incredible campus, um, just kind of highlights um, what Marshall has to offer and um, give, it, give the town something for our surrounding communities to come to, make it beautiful, make it you know, festive and family oriented and a holiday tradition that everyone comes back for. Um, so we created a winter wonderland, as we like to call it, on the back of the campus at SMSU here. Um, we kicked it off last weekend, went um, very well. Um, it runs Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every weekend in December. Um, of course, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, we will have the lights on, but there will be no events. Um, same with New Year's Eve. Well, everybody loves Christmas lights. Yeah. Everybody loves lights. And um, as you mentioned, on the campus of SMSU, back out here on Mustang Drive, which is kind of on the north and west side of campus, Yeah. you have a wide array of wonderful activities, family activities, different things that people can not only come and view, uh, whether it be walk through, drive through, get a ride through, um, along with all of the holiday traditions. And if you would, Tara, mm -hmm. and again, you mentioned it started last day or right at the end of November, and now it's every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, all the way to up to the first of the year. Yep. But tell us a little bit about, um, or at least uh, what people can Do be involved with, or what is all out there. Sure. Um, People are a bit confused when they go out there. It does start, um, the route does start on the northwest end of the campus, kind of by the old Mackey Field, or soft, softball fields. And it runs through the back of the campus, down Stadium Drive and Mustang Trail. And then actually you exit out, um, it goes around the new football stadium, and then exits out 
um, to the right. Um, SMSU, just for safety concerns, um, hard to have, didn't want that through traffic through the gym. So we actually have an entrance and an exit. And you can go around and go through the event as many times as you like. Um, but the route just, you know, starts on the northeast side. It's been confusing for some people. Um, but there's a welcome hut right there. And you can see there's, it's lit up and our volunteers have lights on. So hopefully that makes it easier. So when you get to the event, you can park and take a hay ride around the event. Um, Horse-drawn carriage rides we have for Friday nights. Um, Sean Carmody has been doing that and of course they're beautiful horses and beautiful carriages. It's the highlight I think has been the first weekend for sure. Kids love that. Um, he, but he's only out there Friday nights from 6 to 8. Um, and then we have um, Santa comes to visit every Friday night as well, 5 to 7. So Friday nights are kind of the family night or the night to be there I think if you want to take the kids and enjoy all our activities. Um, every night of the event, we do have the hay rides um, just pulled by a tractor around the event. Um, and the first weekend was beautiful weather for that. So, yeah, yeah that was great. Um, we have blankets on the hay rides, but in the next couple weekends, you know, I'd bundle up <laughs> with the blankets. Yeah. It has got a little colder since yes. that last weekend uh, in November. And uh, uh, again, just to clarify, you actually come in on the Matkey Field side, on the north side. Yep. Is that where you park your car? Yes, that's okay. where you park if you want to get off and hay ride the event or horse carriage ride the event or walk the event. There are um, sidewalks up until you hit the new Mackey Field and go around it, and then we have it marked off um, with orange markers so you can walk the event at any time as well. Um, and of course, if you don't want to park and drive or walk or ride the hay ride or walk, then you can just drive through in your own vehicle. Um, someone will greet you upon arrival and explain these things to you, um, but you can definitely just drive through with your family as well and stay warm. Um, you can tune into Holiday Music 92.7. Oh. Keith at Marshall Radio hooked us up with that. It really just runs on our event nights, Thursday to Sunday from 5 to 9. Um, but it's a great playlist and turn the holiday tunes on and you know bring the hot cocoa in the car if you want with the kids. Um, every night we do have a concession area too, and the concession area is um, right in the front of the new Mackey Field. You can see when you pull up um, the city of Marshall, um, we rented their new um, concession trailer, which is beautiful. Um, so we serve hot, co hot chocolate, hot cider, coffee, you know, warm pretzels, warm cookies, um, all the holiday goodies. Um, mm. We have novelty items for the kids that light up because, you know, what's Christmas without the light up toy, um, li light up Santa that spins. Um, so we do the novelty items, and then we have a fire pit. Um, Billy from Benwright Fabrication um, and his boys out there, along with the Marshall Fire Department, built a beautiful fireplace. And if anything, just come out and, and see that. It's um, really, really neat. They um, etched uh, our logo, the Light of the Night logo, as well as the fire Marshall Fire Department logo, and it's just a beautiful fire pit. Well, and of course, the highlight is the trees are all decorated and the yes. lights and... You know, that gives everybody kind of goosebumps when they... When it they is, it. How yeah. Many, how and many even, trees? Do you know how many trees you actually I do, lit yeah. Up? We have a fun ca fact card that we hand out to everyone. Um, we had over 70,000 um, lights. It was um, almost over two miles of extension cord. So it was a big, big process. Um, you know, we did want to start out kind of slow for the first year. We hope to build and build every year and get to that level that... Um, like Wilmer and Sioux Falls and Duluth shows are at eventually. Mm -hmm. But for the first year, um, Prairie Home Hospice made the entire investment ourselves. Um, so we just kind of want to build on that every year. I think we covered a good area, definitely room to grow, especially if we stay out at Southwest Minnesota State. Um, you know, I would have liked to cover every tree, but <laughs> with budget restraints, and like the first year we want something to build on so people come back each year and see how it's grown. Um, but I think we um, lit it up, you know, for the first year. Uh, um, as good as we could. I think people are impressed and it's just a really nice, like I said, even the people, my husband isn't really a Christmas guy, but somehow he's been out there every night, just um, puts you in the mood for Christmas and spending time with the family and, you know, lets you forget about the stress of the holidays and money and family and all that stuff, you know, and just, you know, for 10 minutes or 20 minutes or a half hour, some people, the kids have stayed out there for an hour around the fireplace. And just, um, yeah, brings in that holiday magic and spirit that we were hoping for. Well, what a wonderful event. And, of course, uh, uh, I know that you've had a, a, a really good turnout thus far of community yeah. members from throughout uh, our community and the surrounding region. Whether you're in town for shopping or just want to take a little adventure, 
this is one of those events that you don't want to miss. And of course, you haven't always, you haven't been the one that's climbing those trees. I'm sure you've used a <laughs> lot of volunteers, so maybe this is a great time to recognize some of those folks. I know yes. you, not only is Prairie Home Hospice the, the major sponsor for this, but you do have a couple other partnerships. We do. And you know, the other thing that I want to share with you is this is free. Yes. Yeah. And that's kind of a real key thing there too, isn't it? Yeah, that's a big deal. And that's, like I said, we wanted to give back something when people ask what's the charge or I can't believe you're charging. It is just a free will donation. We are giving 25% of our proceeds or profits, if there are any, the first year, <laughs> um, to Holy Redeemer. Um, we par partnered with them um, this year and hope to partner with them in the future. Um, they just have a really great volunteer base. Quentin has been kind of my main man slash work husband the last two months. He's just worked his little tail off and has gotten so many volunteers from Holy Redeemer. Um, they have a live nativity scene at the end of the route, which oh, is wow. really amazing. Every night, yeah, they have volunteers from the church to a live nativity, um, which is really incredible if you've seen pictures and just incredible to get that many to help every night when it's freezing. And um, I know they had someone made the costumes, Paula Curry, you know, helped get the stable together and um, round up those volunteers and get them outfitted, but it's a really, really neat thing to see um, on your way out. Um, so the free will donations, there's, you know, red mailboxes we put throughout the event. There's one at the exit and the end and the concession area on the hayride itself. Um, so we're asking for those, of course, and again, um, splitting the proceeds with Prairie Home Hospice. But the volunteer efforts, as you mentioned, um, Doug, is probably the best part or the thing I've enjoyed most about putting this together. It's just really incredible. Like I said, every day I love this job because I'm just amazed at how many time, how many things I have to ask for and that I get very little no's. You mm -hmm. know, I get a lot of yeses. The city of Marshall and Preston has been tremendous um, using a lot of your supplies um, and your guys um, have helped a couple times to decorate. The Marshall Fire Department um, took a day and a lot of their guys um, decorated some trees, you know, they have all the right equipment. And a lot of um, everyone going through the event um, gets a promotional booklet. And you can see, you know, if for some reason you miss out, I encourage you to pick one of these up. It does list all our partners and all of our sponsors in the booklet um, and all of our volunteers. Decorating alone, I, I think one, I forgot to mention, one Wednesday night we had almost every youth group in town. So over 75 youth helped decorate what we call the rainbow section. You'll see it when you come. It's every different color. It's just incredible. We've had teacher groups come out. You know, I've had a lot of my board members, a lot of the nurses from Prairie Home Hospice are volunteering at event nights. It just took, it just never would have happened without every single person that's helped. I've had a lot of my, you know, close personal friends and my family have been amazing in helping. Um, being in hospitality, you know, I have my crew of girls that just get it done in the concessions every day without complaint and are happy to do it and so thankful for them. And, you know, my husband, who's a little by force, and my father and my mother, who happens to be our CEO at Prairie Home Hospice, um, every night just do whatever I ask them to do. It's just incredible. I think we estimated well over 300 volunteers that help put this together. Wow. I mean, I could go on and on and mention them all, but we did list them all, you know, in the program. So I encourage you to take a look. And then our sponsors as well. Um, I have advertisements in the books and are listed. Without their support, um, monetarily, it would be hard for this to get off the ground at all. You know, they help purchase a lot of the lights and cords. You know, you think, well, I think $15,000 worth of lights would go a long way, but doesn't go as far as you think. <laughs> you right. think 300 feet of lights on a tree is enough, but most of those trees need, you know, 900 feet. So it's well, been, are, yeah. Excuse it's me, these amazing. are wonderful booklets. And of course, yeah. uh, uh, with color photos and of course recognizing all of the volunteers and actually a calendar of events and of course uh, a listing night by night uh, entertainers, uh, yes. choral choruses from the various churches. You know, Santa is there, you said every Friday night? Every Friday, 5 to 7. Mm -hmm. Friday night's uh, time for to uh, maybe hit the, all of the highlights in, in one fell swoop. But again, yes. a, a very special uh, booklet here that you receive when you do stop out. And I do know that Ryanie behind the scenes here has given us our time. It's gone by so fast. It has, yeah. At the end of the show, we're going to actually do a, a, a prior event that kind of kicked off with the light, of the light Up the Night 2017. It's a tree of remembrance, uh, kind of description about that wonderful event that Prairie Home Hospice has doing for, been doing for 30 years, years mm -hmm. or so. Mm -hmm. And so um, with that, 
I want to con encourage you to continue to watch the remainder of the show. We're going to give Tara a break because she's been sharing a lot of great information. I'm a fast talker like you. Yeah, uh, for fast. sure. <laughs> and I do want to kind of mention um, the the event is actually culminated with a rockin' New Year's Eve party yes. out here on campus on uh, Sunday, December 31st. Yes, New Year's Eve on Sunday. And so we invite you to check out our websites, a uh, number of different places. It's going to involve a champagne toast, um, some heavy appetizers. I don't mm -hmm. know what heavy means. but Yeah, SMSU I'm, puts on some pretty amazing yeah, food I'm sure they're going to be great. Yep. Um, live entertainment again, and of course, Fireworks. fireworks yeah that was a feat in itself so if anything come for the fireworks <laughs> so again i'm going to encourage you to uh, check this all out uh, is there a website you can go to kind of get this information there is yep I mean, we have a facebook page we have an instagram page as well which really helps with the calendar events every thursday night um, we put out our calendar for the weekend so you can see what entertainers will be there when um, when santa claus is there and the horse-drawn carriage rides um, and all of that and then um, it has our rock and new year's eve party on there um, where you can go to buy tickets, which is a Prairie Home Office um, or hy V, And then it, everything's on our website also, www.prairiehomehospice.org. Um, the whole booklet's on there. Um, it's on our like Facebook page as well. So if you ever have any questions, just feel free to call the office, 337-0080. And, and plenty of people there to answer your questions. Yeah. Sounds great. Well, Terry, yeah. you've done a wonderful job. Thanks. Uh, sharing all this information. Uh, I know our time goes by so quickly. It does. Uh, and again... Uh, we'll have Alex and, and Ryan put the, maybe that phone number or that website on That'd the be bottom great. Yeah. so that you have a chance to check this out as it's shown throughout the month of December. And again, we encourage everyone to get out, participate, enjoy the Light Up the Night 2017 a special event. First time ever here in Marshall and, and uh, maybe kick off your winter wonderland or your family Christmas um, by attending this special event, which is, again is, is free. However, there is a free will donation station out there that we'd encourage you to support our Prairie Home Hospice along with uh, Holy Redeemer and all of the wonderful people right out here on campus. Uh, it's kind of the Mustang Trail area. Back Stadium behind. Drive, yep. Yeah, so uh, uh, put it on your calendar uh, every Thursday, yeah. Friday, Saturday night, Sunday night too. Yes, Sunday and, night too. Uh, have a lot of fun with you and your, your family and our community. Uh, come on out, have some s'mores, check out the fire, get some hot cocoa and and enjoy the light show. Yeah, we'd love to have you. Super. Come on, come all. Yep. Well, again, Tara, thank you very much. You're and welcome. I think Thanks for having me. It's time to uh, maybe take a quick break here and move on to the little segment at the end uh, that we hope you enjoy. And again, thank you for watching this edition of Marshall Community Services News. If you do have any questions about any of this, you can also call Marshall Community Services, 537 6767. My name is Doug Goodman. We urge you to keep fit, mentally involved, and enjoy life by participating in your Marshall Community Services programs and activities. Thank you, and see you next month. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started tonight. I'm Pat Melanty, and I'm the Executive Director for Prairie Home Hospice, and I want to thank all of you for being out here tonight. And this is always one of our most favorite events of the year. Um, the time to remember those that are not with us this holiday season. I know that it can be um, a hard time year sometimes, but I'm convinced that those that we love would not want us to be sad during the holidays. So I hope this will be kind of a beginning to kick off the holiday season, to remember those who aren't here, to carry them in our heart. But I also know that they would want us to celebrate this season and be joyous. So knowing that they are always with us in our heart. So with that, we're gonna get started tonight many many lights on the tree remembering many many loved ones and again we're so thankful that you are here with us tonight to remember those people and carry them forward through the season in our hearts so with that uh, Corvus I think is going to lead us in a little bit of scripture there she is. good evening I want you to look over to the side here look at the gorgeous sunset tonight and that beautiful as we're talking about light look over here Look at the gorgeous moon. So both, both the sun going down and the moon coming up, how wonderful and how good God is. And tonight's going to be a real special night as we celebrate the Tree of Life and as we celebrate Light Up the Night. So for these two big events, we just ask God to bless. So please uh, pray with me. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for light. Thank you for being the light of the world. You came into the world for that express purpose to light up this dark world 
we all look to you uh, for our guidance and for our reflection of you. So as we go through this holiday season, especially now Advent, as we wait for your birth, Lord Jesus, we just thank you and praise you that we have opportunities like this where we can celebrate those who have been such a big influence in our life. We thank you for each person's name who will be named tonight and for their families that they represent, that you have blessed us with their light. They still light up our lives every day as we as we remember them and we thank you especially tonight as we th say their names and as we remember them in a very special way. So I, I thank you Lord for hospice, for prayer home hospice and community care and for all the people who have been a part of this organization for these last 30 some years that you have blessed it so richly and that you've blessed the people who have put this together tonight, especially our tree lighting and the, and the uh, light of the night for these next weeks now. How wonderful, Lord, for this place to be lit up uh, with your light. So now we ask your blessing on all that is planned and for all the people for the choir here tonight, for all the people who will be participating and for all the events that are planned. So we ask your blessing on it all in Jesus' name. Okay. Um. Jesus, our infant redeemer, is born. 